A little while later, freshly showered and freaked out, I drove to the studio for my meeting with Matthew McConaughey. all of it. I think your writing is brilliant. I really do. I mean, it's sharp, it's edgy, it's brutal at times. It's always a little juicy. It's, it's very New York. You know what I'm saying? I do like it. I really do. Well, oh my God. Well, thank you, Matthew McConaughey. You're welcome, Carrie Bradshaw. <laughs> now, here's what I've been thinking about. How do we get your column to translate to the silver screen. And I think I've got the answer. Now, what if we flush out the central relationship? Hmm? Mm-hmm. Okay. Central relationship. Oh, Carrie and Mr. Big, huh? I don't see why they couldn't make it work. I couldn't believe it. I flew 3,000 miles to have Matthew McConaughey ask the same question I've been asking myself for years. I mean, look at him. I mean, he is such... A great guy. I mean, I don't know anybody any cooler than Mr. Big. I... My only question, really, is what the fuck is Carrie's problem? You know? What, what, what do you think? Well, um, I don't... I don't particularly think it was, it was just her problem. Um, because, well, I, actually, he had some, you know, commitment issues. Well, that's bullshit, Carrie! You know it! Kidding. I'm acting. Huh? <laughs> That's what I do. <laughs> yes, but do you see what I mean? That's why I want to develop the story with you. I'm Mr. Big. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. Okay, that's... Excellent. You're in. You know what else? I really want to fuck you, baby. Are you acting now? I'm big, okay? You be careful. I am Carrie. We are animals. Man, woman, walking the earth. We are made of head, heart, and loins. Mm. We're talking about using them. Am I right? Well, I have, uh, well, the, the girl said that we would probably, what we would, we would, uh, would talk about the columns today. Let's get down to the underbelly of these two characters. And let's figure out why they're so fucked up. Well, um, I have a facial at four. Then I love you. I don't understand why we can't be together. Do you mind if I smoke? I don't think you should smoke, Carrie. What? In the movie, I don't think Carrie should smoke. Oh. Yeah. That's all right. Or, or my office, okay? After I left the meeting, I took a wrong turn and somehow found myself right back where I had started, back in New York back wondering about Big. I had come to LA for a vacation, hoping to get away from Big and Aiden and most of all myself. But sitting on the fake set, all my old issues felt more real than ever. I couldn't help but wonder, no matter how far you travel or how much you run from it, can you ever really escape your past? Mel, no smoking. But I'm outside. And it's New York! 